And on the ninth day, God looked down on his planned paradise and said, I need somebody to really mess things up. So God made a lawyer. God said, I need somebody willing to sleep in, prey on human frailties, figure out how to make money from man's dumb acts, then prey on human frailties some more, eat dinner in the best restaurant in town and get somebody else to pay for it and then stay past midnight at Sam clandestine meeting with someone he wouldn't want us to know he was meeting. So God made a lawyer. I need somebody with few morals and yet brazen enough to claim they have some. Somebody to call the sick and dying in pursuit of cash. Terrorize doctors into ordering unnecessary tests. Complain that the towel service at the gym is lacking. And insult the people he seeks to represent. So God made a lawyer. God said, I need somebody willing to get rich while claiming to be in public service, somebody to leave their state and go to another state in pursuit of money and be willing to mock the lifeblood of his own state to do it. So God made a lawyer. God had to have somebody willing to push a law that nobody wanted and then force his neighbors to go and buy a product that nobody could afford and then back the biggest lie ever told in American politics. So God made a lawyer. God said, I need somebody strong enough to disrespect his own people and disgrace his own state with invected, invective he hoped they'd never hear. Somebody willing to take a cheap shot at a loyal public servant and somebody willing to stand in the way of success from hard work. In fact, God said, I need somebody willing to sell the farm while standing in the way of the farmers handing down the fruits of their hard labor to their own children. So God made a lawyer.